Seize the day. Gather ye rosebuds while ye may. Why does the writer use these lines? Because he's in a hurry. No. Ding. Thank you for playing anyway. Because we are food for worms, lads. Because believe it or not, each and every one of us in this room is one day going to stop breathing, turn cold, and die. Blessed be the hour when the Lumiere brothers and George Melies invented a way to turn static images into motion. Good evening, my friends. You already know what's coming. The second part of the news segment, What's New with the News, features the seventh art, which is increasingly fitting on television. In films, we have a major comeback, and in TV series, we have nuclear news, to say the least. YouTube, I know you want to go watch this week's movie, and then another episode of your favorite series. But before you settle on the couch, please start the video. Let's start in the East. This week, a new promotional video was released for the live-action film Saint Onisan the Movie, Holy Men vs. Akuma Gundan, an adaptation based on the manga Saint Young Men, created by Hikaru Nakamura. In this trailer, we can see the cast that will make up the Mara family, the team of demons. The film will premiere in Japanese theaters on December 20th. Sci-fi fans, this one's for you. According to information revealed by one of the co-creators of the TV series, it seems that the Stargate franchise will indeed be revived, with a new movie set to be released between next year and 2026. Brad Wright, co-creator of Stargate SG-1, revealed that the existing technology, as seen in titles like The Mandalorian, will allow for a new approach to the story. Technically, this would be in the music segment, but since we don't have one yet, Crunchyroll and Sony Pictures announced this week that the Lissa concert, Live is Smile Always, Lander, will be shown in select theaters across North America on August 17th, 18th, and 21st. The tour is part of the launch of her sixth original album, Lander. How about an English cinema star in an unconventional role? This week, the trailer for Heretic was released, a psychological horror film from A24 Studios, where the main protagonist is the villain, played by Hugh Grant. This film is directed by Scott Beck and Brian Woods, the minds behind the script of A Quiet Place. The premiere will be on November 15th. How about a rescue mission to save Santa Claus? Amazon MGM Studios released the trailer for Red One this week, featuring a star-studded cast including Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, and Chris Evans, Captain America, and of course the ever-consistent J.K. Simmons, who plays a very modern Santa Claus. The plot? Hashtag let's save Santa who was kidnapped by the bad guys. To finish, how about a remake of a classic horror film? With a star-studded cast, the trailer for Nosferatu was released this week, a remake of the 1922 classic. Directed by the master Robert Eggers, the film stars Bill Skarsgård as one of the most famous vampires of all time, alongside Lily Rose Depp, Nicholas Holt, Aaron Taylor Johnson, Emma Corrin, and Willem Dafoe. The film premieres on January 2nd, 2025. Of course, we had to start in Japan. This week, a teaser for I Hear the Sunspot, Hidamari Gaki Koeru, a live-action adaptation of the manga created by Yuki Fumino, was released through its official account on Twitter. The teaser revealed that Takaya Kawasaki will perform the ending theme, the song Yuhi no Yue, above the setting sun. The series will premiere on July 3rd. Continuing in the land of the rising sun, through Twitter, the official BSTBS account revealed the first teaser for the second season of Tengu no Daidokoro, Tengu's Kitchen, a live-action adaptation of the manga created by Ai Tanaka. This season will have a total of 10 episodes, and the cast from the first season will all return, including Kita Komagin as Motoi Izuna. All fans have been waiting for this. That's right. The confirmation that everyone who watched the first season of Fallout and knows the game's story well arrived this week. 
In an interview with Variety magazine, executive producers Graham Wagner and Geneva Robertson Dwarat confirmed that Robert House, or better known as Mr. House, will be involved in the second season. If you played Fallout New Vegas, you know that this character is one of the most iconic in the Fallout universe. And now we have not one, not two, but three pieces of news about the live action of One Piece. Through Twitter, new cast members for the second season of this global phenomenon were revealed. Enter the Baroque works, David Dasmalkian as Mr. Three, Jazara Jaslin as Miss Valentine, Cameras Johnson as Mr. Five, and Daniel Lasker as Mr. Nine. But that's not all. Continuing with the cast of the television adaptation of Eiichiro Oda's masterpiece, in the previous news, we talked about the villains. How about now we talk about the heroes? It was revealed this week that Clive Russell will play Crocus. The other two new members are Werner Kutzer and Brendan Murray, who will play the giants Dory and Broji. We promise, just one more. We've talked about the villains, we've talked about the heroes, now let's talk about the Marines. That's right, the One Piece universe has these things. And who was chosen? To play Smoker, a character of some importance, the chosen one is Callum Kerr. To play Tashigi, Julia Rewald. We also have Wapol, played by Rob Coletti. Finally, Tai Keog is chosen to play Dalton. The second season will begin filming at the end of the month in South Africa. And to finish, a series that all sci-fi fans know, AMC released this week the official trailer for the fourth and final season of Snowpiercer, based on the graphic novel created by Jacques Loeb and Jean-Marc Rochette, and the film directed by Bong Joon-ho. It will premiere on July 21st, and according to the trailer, it promises to be a mix between the final act and a new beginning. My father taught me many things here. He taught me in this room. He taught me Keep your friends close, but your enemies close. Second phase successfully completed. We know we are already preparing the ground for tomorrow's video. So was there any news that you liked the most? The return of the Stargate saga, the movie to rescue Santa Claus, the new cast injection in the One Piece adaptation, and the inclusion of Mr. House in the Fallout series were the big highlights. Now, after liking the video, you can rest easy on the couch or in bed to watch the movie or series you want to see. Thank you for watching until the end, and tomorrow at the same time on the same screen, we will be here again for Phase 3.